everyone thought they had the Brit Awards completely sorted out this year. In fact, they were planning on skipping the show entirely and giving everything to Sam Smith. But when the Brits took place last night, as is inevitable with live award shows, not everything went completely to plan. In case you're unfamiliar with the Brits, they're the UK's attempt at an answer to the Grammys. Let's start at the end of the night with the much anticipated performance from Madonna. Although it most definitely is not her vocals everyone is talking about today. It's that fall. One thing is absolutely clear. The Queen of Pop has never watched The Incredibles. Meta Man, Express Elevator, Diner Guy, Snag on Takeoff, Splash Down, Sucked into a Vortex, Knock It! She came to be thankful she didn't land on one of her backing dancers, who were all sporting Maleficent headpieces. Ouch. We do need to applaud Madonna though for continuing with her routine. Not giving up. I'm gonna carry on. Kanye West also had an eventful evening. I mean, did you see that flamethrower? There's also that small issue that most of his performance was put on mute. Apparently it was because ITV found Kanye's use of the N-word offensive. I think we know the real reason is because they're trying to make these shows more interactive. We had a lovely game for musical chairs. Paloma Faith gave us her own unique take on the Gene Kelly classic, Singing in the Rain. Not gonna lie, didn't quite work without the street lamp. Lewis Hamilton was there, and he'll be back again next year to pick up the award for the most awkward Brit presenter in history. Other memorable moments included Cara Delevingne saying that she'd love to be the meat between Ant and Deck. Can we just not? The moment you remember what Mark Ronson actually looks like? Hot damn. And I did rather miss James Corden presenting the show this year. Although I do have to say Ant and Deck did a pretty good job for their first time. Let's face it, after Neil Patrick Harris the other day, Nobody's expectations were that high. So that was the Brits 2015. It had pretty much everything you could want from an awards show. Kim Kardashian's ass. And some things you just don't. Seven Cubs glasses. I really hope you enjoyed my review. Please be sure to let me know down below what you thought of last night's show. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this every week. Nice. Au revoir. Oh, hey, T Swizzle. Apparently I'm supposed to give this award to you. Oh, uh, have you met Ellie? Uh, do, do you know Ellie? I bet, I bet you've met, haven't you? Um, don't stop me taking your, your speech. Go, go make your speech. By the way, I love you.